Thank you, Mr. Rick. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Have a good evening for everybody. Yang berhormat Datuk Sri Dr. S. Subramaniam, the Minister of Health Malaysia. Uh, yang berbahagia Datuk Dr. Raj Karim, President of Malaysian Health Council. Dr. Rick Lyons of Harm Reduction International. Mr. Miss Maria Phelan of Harm Reduction International. Mr. Alan Grover from UN Special Reporter on the right to the help. This gracious guest, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. My name is Kamal Pilos. I'm a representative of the Malaysian Welfare Association of Recovering Drug User, or WADU. We are a relatively young organization, only registered on in 2013, but we have a big ambition for Malaysian drug users. Our mission is to improve the quality of life of drug users in this country so that each of us can have the same economic, social, and health right in any ordinary nation. I would like to remind all our dis distinguished guests that this is, that this is the 24th conference for Harm Reduction International and the organizer have called it call for leadership. This theme should remind us in Malaysia of what has been achieved so far, what is still left to achieve and how to move harm reduction forward. As a member of the regional network input, I would like to set the scene for the major issue Asian who use drug face in the region. Stigma and discrimination, human rights violation and violence against purity by law enforcement agencies. Compulsory drug treatment center that detain us for a long period of time. Poor access to NSP, OST and other harm reduction service. HIV and hepatitis C continue to kill us. And tough the and talk the hep C is treatable, the high cost of treatment is a huge barrier. We are dying due to the greed of pharmaceutical companies manufacturing hep C treatment drugs. Law enforcement dominated response to drug use with punishment rather than treatment philosophy. The first needle and string exchange program in this country only started about 10 years ago and was driven by the need to prevent HIV infection. Many of the pioneers behind this early project are here this week. I would like to make a special mention to Professor Dr. Adiba Kamruzaman, who was instrumental in getting harm reduction to place in the Malaysia public health space. Since then, we in Malaysia have seen growing acceptance of harm reduction program. It is written into the national public health policies of various ministries and NGOs. We are also grateful for the support from the regional and international harm reduction network. However, harm reduction in Malaysia still face obstacle and program coverage is still inadequate. This has also put access to health, social and legal service to drug users in Malaysia at risk. We as drug users still being charged, punished for drug offense. In light of such barrier, what do we want to promote and encourage policy analysis and advocacy through drug user community involvement. This can only happen through collab collaboration between WADU, government agencies, and harm reduction network in order to create a conducive environment for harm reduction in Malaysia.
Why do you believe that harm reduction does not judge people? It accepts that we are, we are all very vulnerable. It is consistent with both humanistic and re religious view and preserve our dignity as a human and fellow nation. Why do you believe that harm reduction is based on human rights, especially the right to life and security, to have protection, to, to the provision of medical treatment and protection against hurt from the community and government. Hence, promoting and defending the human right of drug users in the focus of Wadu effort. Wadu believe that as a network of drug users, we can start by using the mechanism provided under Malaysian law to fight for policy and legislative change. What we would like to call upon the Malaysian government to establish target for extending the provision of free harm reduction service to all parts of the country. This included providing legal exchange in prison and legal safe injecting facilities. Justifiably, then, this 24th Harm Reduction Conference is a call for leadership. It is an opportunity for us in Malaysia to, ref to reflect on the many harm reduction achievements in our country, to look at the existing problem and challenge, and look forward to the next wave of harm reduction program nationally. But let's not forget it is still too much to do to all of you here today. Thanks for listening to Wardu talk and hope for drug use in Malaysia and for the future of harm reduction in this country. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.